What's up guys, it's Chris and today we're going to be showing you how to remove a stuck or frozen, seemingly corroded, rusted together cartridge from a valve body. So you want to get some CLR just like I did there, spray the CLR all over the top where the cartridge threads down into the valve body. Let that set up for a few minutes, tap on it a little bit. Um, then you're going to want to get a large pipe wrench. I use like a 16 or 24 inch pipe wrench to back it up. Then I take my Nipex pliers wrench and I, uh, this is my seven inches, but I have a 12 inch and 10 inch that I'll also use. And the reason I use the Nipex is because they're very precise as far as how they lock and they give you a really good amount of leverage in this type of situation. I used to use another really large pipe wrench and you can still do that if you don't have the Nipex or can also use a crescent wrench, but a really large pipe wrench also works really well in this situation. Um, I'm removing the hardened stem here, stem slash cartridge, but um, you know, it all works the same as if it's like a Kohler, a Price Fister, or any of the other type of cartridges. Um, it's really all about just getting that CLR to break the corrosion. The CLR will do exactly that in just a matter of seconds. I always keep CLR in a spray bottle now. It's a little trick I had another plumber show me. Used to use PB Blaster and I'm telling you guys, CLR, uh, it just, it's on a whole nother level when it comes to this stuff. Um, you're always gonna wanna remove the complete valve body from the uh, countertop. That's usually just two hose connections, really basic. And then I install the valve body uh, before I throw the new cartridge back in. Sometimes, I mean, this time I think I did it just for the video. But um, usually I'll put the valve body in with the new cartridge in it um, just to save time. But again, I think in this video I was trying to show you what it would look like to thread the cartridge into the valve body if you were able to get it out on top of the countertop without having to remove the entire valve body. Uh, one thing is you're going to want to make sure you back up that valve body with like a again a pipe wrench or a large pair of channel locks while you're tightening it down from up top. That way it's not down there just spinning on you. You're going to take your uh, new cartridge and uh, some plumber's grease and make sure you grease the o-rings up really nice and good greasing o-rings is one thing that like is a really big deal that i notice some plumbers don't do but i always do this and it just it's going to promote the longevity of the parts and the, again the customer will appreciate it and we're an advocate for the customer all right so again I really fell in love with these Nipex. Um, I used to be a channel lock guy, but now like these Nipex are just, they're such a really nice, precise tool. And I really can appreciate that, especially in this type of situation where you don't want to strip out or round out any of the edges on the cartridge. The Nipex are just perfect for this. If you guys are channel lock guys, um, I don't know, a lot of the old timers won't, won't agree with me and they'll just say, oh, give me, I'll stick to my channel locks, but I have a really open mind when it comes to all this type of stuff. I'm always wanting to learn and evolve as a plumber. And uh, I found these Nipex to be really, a really big deal, a game changer for me. So down here, I'm just going to show you, basically, you attach the two hoses back together. The one hose that leads to the T and the other hose that supplies the valve body. And you're back in business. All right, so basically my opinion on these hardened Jado, Kohler, um, Growy, Hans Growy faucets, these stems are really hard to get out, number one. So most plumbers, especially if they're charging you time and material, you're going to get a pretty hefty bill at the end more than likely. Um, especially because, like, for instance, these hardened cartridges, I think, are like $40 each. Um, and most plumbers charge, I think higher end, uh, faucet stores charge like $80 a cartridge, which is where most customers would call to get a price check on. So, uh, most plumbers charge about $80 a cartridge on the Hardens or the Jados or any of the really higher end faucets. And, uh, same goes with Kohler. Some Kohler stems are so expensive there. I would honestly recommend just throwing in like a brand new Moen, Price Fister or Delta, 
and uh, you get the lifetime warranty. You get the uh, brand new faucet that's gonna you know last a lot longer, especially if you go with Delta. They uh, manufacture their faucets ten times the industry standard. Um, Delta is the leading brand right now. I would I would stick with Delta if that's who you're uh, if you're looking to replace faucets in two thousand nineteen. Um, and yeah, that's about it guys. Have a good one.